So my name is Victoria Cuba. V Victoria Cuba is no stranger to the camera. As a senior at Waipahu High School, she first revealed to Hikino how she conquered and persevered to the hardships of being homeless. Now, Victoria continues to share her story with others as a student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. She was awarded a full scholarship and lives in a dorm on campus. It's a far cry from the car she once slept in with her family in Eva Beach. Dorm life, I really like the independency that a student has. Um, it's a lot different from living with your parents. You live on your own, but you also have the opportunity to um, go to someone when you're in need of help, like your RA or your roommate or your other peers. It's different from my home life before because, of course, I have some place I can sleep and study. I remember telling someone that I wish my family could live with me because it's not fair that I could enjoy dorm life and yet they still have to live in the same situation. Victoria learned that taking advantage of a life-changing opportunity isn't easy, and seeking her dreams means conquering new obstacles. I think the biggest challenge I faced is um, managing my time wisely, because my classes are clumped together in the beginning of the morning, but the rest of the day, I have to discipline myself to study, I have to make sure I'm not um, being distracted by other things like Netflix. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much time on my hands, I don't know what to do with it. Despite her new surroundings, Victoria says she's not closing the door on her difficult past. Today, her story continues to spread all over social media and inspire those around her. I do get people who come up to me now and then like, oh, you know, you're the girl from the TV and, you know, thank you for sharing your story. I give you props for having the courage to do that. Seeing the impact her story had on others opened Victoria's eyes to the power of media. She's now an intern at PBS Hawaii learning how things work behind the scene. Um, I would say my dream is a work in progress. Um, I'm not yet a journalist. I mean, I am working for Kaleo and I am trying my best in school. I'm not able to help my family out financially, but I think emotionally it's a lot different. Like my family's outlook on life, it's a lot more positive. They're very supportive of me. Um, you know, it's just, it's progressing. Victoria proves that dreams can come true if you have the imagination and courage to pursue them. She says even if times are hard, it's always important to try. You know, ahead of time. Yeah, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. My message to people who are in my situation now or was in my situation um, would be that, you know, to never give up hope that you can better yourself. There's always a way out of it. And also be really grateful for the people you have Thank in your you. life, good Thank or bad, you. because they make you stronger. Everybody's like, I can't tell you now. <laughs> I can't tell you now. This is Camille Mako from Apau High School reporting for Hikino. Yay!